Hello. What's up, everyone? It's me, your friend, Tanner Babcock here, coming at you with another brand new video. Today's video is just going to be about some programs I think are really cool and really useful, and I think lots of people should try out these programs. But that's right, you know the drill. First things first, I'm going to show off my GitHub sponsors profile. So I really need some money. <laughs> These are the reasons why I really need some money. If someone out there, anyone at all, chooses to give me some money, I would really be able to do some great things. <clears throat> if, if you choose to sponsor me on GitHub, you could choose to give me a fixed one-time amount, or you could give me a monthly amount. You could choose to give me $4 a month, you could choose to give me $20 a month, or you could choose to give me $100 a month. Here are some of my repositories. Yeah, I would really appreciate some money, <laughs> and I would totally work on anything you wanted me to work on. I also have a Patreon. So if you appreciate and enjoy my content, and uh, you would like to give me a... Uh, a monthly donation for my content, you can subscribe to my Patreon here. <clears throat> I have more tiers on my Patreon than on my GitHub. I have the $4 a month tier. I have the $8 a month tier here. There's the $16 a month tier, where if you get the $16 a month, you will become a bronze patron and you will be invited to my Tanner Babcock patron chat on Discord. <clears throat> There's also the $32 a month tier in which you would become a silver patron on my patron chat on Discord. If you chose to give me $64 a month, you would be a gold patron on my Discord, and you would have moderator privileges, and you would be able to have exclusive access to live streams and videos. And if you chose to give me $128 a month, you would become a platinum administrator on my Tanner Babcock patron chat on Discord. All kinds of privileges, all kinds of fun stuff. If you would want to give me some money for my GNU slash Linux content, uh, really anything helps. So yeah, the first program we're going to be looking at today is called Beroot. It was written in Rust, has about 60 contributors right now. Let's take a look at Beroot. I have Beroot aliased to just the letter B, so I'm just going to type that. And this is Beroot. This is the Beroot listing of my home directory. Let's say I wanted to navigate to another directory. Let's say I wanted to go into my, uh, my documents directory. I would just choose it and press enter. And then I would leave this cursor on the top line here, like it is now. And I'm going to press Alt-Enter. And that exits the Beroot program, and it changes my current working directory into the Documents directory. <clears throat> so that's a cool, helpful little way where you can navigate your file system without typing CD, path, path, path. You know? <laughs> you can just use this program, Beroot. Just navigate to whatever directory you want. If I wanted to look at my, uh, my website's repository, I could just navigate to it here. And I'll press Alt-Enter once again. As you can see, it prints out the directory that it changes to. And if I do a PWD, you can see that I am now in this different directory. I'll use Beroot again and go back to my home directory. 
I'll leave it here and I'll do an alt enter and I'm back here back in my home directory so this program is really cool in order for any of these programs to have uh, the functionality of uh, changing the current working directory of your shell you're gonna have to add some code into your shells RC file which uh, this configuration file it changes depending on if you use the Z shell like I do or if you use bash or uh, <clears throat> if you use the fish shell I don't know how it works for the fish shell but for the Z shell here's my literate configuration if you want to use B root you need to install a couple of things in your dot config directory and you're gonna wanna add this line to uh, to your bash RC or your ZSH RC or your fish RC <laughs> I don't know how it works that's the line to make B root work as a functioning directory changer let's look at a different program let's look at this program which I have actually contributed to it's called NNN it's a very handy file browser. I'll watch this little video here. So you can see how this program works. <clears throat> My version of NNN that I'm going to be showing you all in just a minute has been uh, patched it's not going to look exactly like this. It's going to have some more, uh, some more colors and stuff, and some more information. But <laughs> but yeah, I have the program in NN aliased to uh, just the letter J, and this brings up NNN. This program uses Vim key bindings, so you can use the J and K keys to uh, go up and down. You can use L to uh, go down into a directory. Here's my uh, website's repository. And if I wanted to change my working directory to my website's repository, I just have to quit NNN and press Q. And as you can see, it prints the new directory. I am now in my website's repository. So NNN is a really cool program. Um, it doesn't behave like this right out of the box, but uh, I'll show you a little uh, a little function that you're going to want to add into your shells RC file that will make NNN behave this way. Now I'm in my .doom.d directory. Here's my zshrc. I'm gonna find this function here. Yeah, J. This function, this little bit of code here, I have actually picked up from this miscellaneous quit CD. If you navigate to this directory on the NNN GitHub repository, you will have all of these little uh, shell functions that you can add to your RC files so that's where I got this function right here <clears throat> and when the program is called right here the backslash NNN I actually like to call that with uh, with these command line options right here and it passes in whatever arguments you want to give to this this function here so yeah, you have to call NNN in this way. But it's not too complicated to set up. You just want to navigate to this 
uh, this place in the repository and you're going to want to put this code in your uh, Z shell RC or your shells configuration file this function right here and then once you have this code in there all you'll have to do is type J or type some letter of the alphabet or you could just type N N N you might not want to use that you could just use N I like to use J and that will bring up this wrapper function that will call this function right here which is a wrapper for N N N navigate to my documents directory and I'll quit now I'm in my documents directory again so that's really cool I highly recommend all of you check out this cool program NNN it's a it's a command line file browser similar to a Ranger And the last program I'm going to be looking at today is called Zoxide, another program written in Rust. What Zoxide is, is a, it's trying to be a replacement for your CD command. It also provides a short command called Z. You can see in this little animation here that they have on their README. You just type Z and you type the name, the short name of a long file path or a long directory path and it'll find it. It'll find it and it'll navigate there for you. <clears throat> Have to add a few things to your shell's RC file to get this to work, like this line, this eval dollar sign parentheses zoxide init zsh. Obviously, if you were using bash, this would say zoxide init bash. Um, here are some more options for zoxide that uh, you can provide as environment variables. I have those right there. So yeah, if I want to use zoxide, I'll just type z. I think just typing z like that just brings you to your home directory, but Instead of typing cd git, I'll just type z git. And I have the command cd aliased to zoxide actually. So anytime I go to type cd, it's just going to run zoxide instead. So I typed z git. Now I'm in my git repositories directory. Type Z again and go into my uh, my homework repository, CIS152. And I'll press enter. And I'll type PWD. And now I'm in slash home slash Babcock slash git slash CIS152. And I'll type LS and there's all of my assignments that I'm working on for my data structures class. <clears throat> now if I want to go back to my home directory I'll just type Z and it brings me right back there now instead of typing if I wanted to go back into my homework repository instead of typing CD git slash CIS 152 I don't have to type that I also don't have to type Z git CIS 152 even though I'm in my home directory, I can just type Z, CIS152. And it will take me right back to where I just was in this directory, even though this directory is not inside of my home directory. So that's really useful. This is kind of a cool plugin for your shell, for any of the major shells available. It has, yeah, it's pretty simple, really. All of these programs will tell you how to bring out the functionality of this, uh, this directory changing functionality. So, yeah, <laughs> could run NNN again. 
go back to my home directory, press Q, and you know I can navigate my file system that way. <clears throat> so yeah, if you love working in the Linux terminal like I do, and you really prefer that to a graphical user interface workflow, uh, just try out these programs because they'll probably really help you out. They'll uh, save some keystrokes and they'll make it so you don't have to type CD blah blah blah, you know, over and over again. <laughs> You know, and I'm still learning. I still don't completely know how these programs work. I'm still kind of getting the hang of it. But I know they're really cool and they're really useful. So yeah, guys, I'm going to close out of this page and show off my website, TannerBabcock.com. You guys should really check out my website because I worked very hard on it. I have this Linux section for uh, tutorials and guides and references. I put all of my videos up here on my website. I have my art and music and all kinds of other things on my website. So yeah, that would be really awesome if you guys could check that out. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to check out my GitHub sponsors profile and give me some money. <laughs> If you uh, enjoyed this video and appreciate my content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Peace.